Previously on Robin Shuri, they returned from the 16-day adventure, bringing a boat from Washington State to Arizona. In this episode, Robin Shuri returned to Page and prepared a boat for a big three-day weekend. Here we are again. <laughs> At McDonald's. <laughs> At McDonald's. And long story, but this McDonald's is really messed up. <laughs> so it's only been like two days since we've been home and we're back in the car again, heading for Page. So this weekend is kind of a re well, stock up the boat kind of thing. We have some supplies we bought, some ropes, little things like that. Um, so, because uh, the following weekend we're going back up there, but we're going to have the kids and we're going to be doing a bunch of other things. And we wanted the boat to be ready for them. So, busy, busy. So we got a long drive, about five hours. Yep. <laughs> and we'll probably get the boat real late. But anyway, hopefully we have some pretty pictures for you this week and I'll we'll show you some of the things we're doing. So, talk to you later. Get on the road. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon guys we uh, got here last night about midnight pretty much just hauled about two carts worth of crap <laughs> to the boat I don't know why we just don't buy a dump truck and of course we went shopping some more at Walmart <laughs> and bought another thing but I thought I'd show you we're just kind of hanging out uh, yeah I think if I go over here kind of hard to see with this camera but over there is actually the Powell uh, Lake Powell Dam and uh, so this is actually the very end of Lake Powell uh, very very scenic and uh, I thought I'd show you just give you the idea so more stuff so yeah more bumpers more blankets more things for the silverware dishes for the boat just never stops but <laughs> This is a pretty good view. Now I will show you once again the very end of Lake Powell. Ugh, here we go. Well, there is the dam over there. And Sherry. <laughs> and Cinder. And uh, this is such a small fraction of Lake Powell, it's not even funny. Um, I tell you, if you ever get a chance to come here, and especially if you could get a week or two and get one of their houseboats or something, it would be a vacation you would never forget. I mean, it's just awesome here. So we're really looking forward to getting out in the water, but like we said for today, it's, for this weekend, it's setup weekend. Prep work. Prep work. Next weekend we'll go out, hopefully, if the weather works. And yeah, it gets cloudy here too, so I guess next weekend we should be getting better weather. So there you go. I'll show you some of the projects we got going on in the boat. So talk to you later. And so I'll show you one more view of Lake Powell from a um, higher elevation so you can see the marina down below. See our boat down there? <laughs> anyway, that's the marina. Anyway, just uh, everywhere you go is scenery. So another pretty shot here. Okay, so one of the first things we got done on the boat today was put a cover on the kicker motor and put a cable through it and locked it. And then uh, <laughs> watching somebody crash their boat into the dock. Good job. And Sherry's making sure that the water's at the right temperature. Which it is. <laughs> <laughs> so check on that. And uh, <laughs> down here are a bunch of bumpers that we're going to use to line the dock. So when I come in here out of control, I can not damage the boat. So this is a very rare moment here. Look at this. Yeah, this is short somewhere. <laughs> I'm actually wearing shorts. Yeah. Alrighty, so we got the first buoys in there. What they are is they're kind of like brakes. When we come in here on a crosswind, 
luckily we don't have a boat on the other side of us but if we miss the target and get blown across we're putting some protection on the dock to kind of keep from hit knocking up the boat too much so anyway that's what's going on here so two more to go and we'll be done all right so we got the second one on and I'll show you over here and once again it's just for when we get monsoons through here and we're coming in on crust winds that will kind of help protect the boat a little we also put a special line on here on the dinghy with a pulley make it easier to pull up when we pull it up here and attach it so all kinds of projects <laughs> and uh, we're just readjusting the bumpers getting it right and then I'll show you what we've been doing in the inside. Well, we just got done making some spring lines. And right now we're running the engines. Both of them fired up beautifully. And uh, big thing I'm watching is make sure oil pressure is consistent. Making sure that uh, the, the temp temperature is fine. Lots of fuel. Uh, voltage meters. Everything's showing great. And uh, it's more about just getting the boat ready for next weekend. But uh, engines are running good. Uh, really happy with everything so far so we'll show you more as we go and Sherry's organizing and uh, she's good at it our final kitchen projects done get the cure again still got some tweaking to do but still looks pretty nice so all I can say now is time for dinner <laughs> so busy day get everything the way we want it now it's ready for grandkids to, to uh, trash. And then we start over. Then we, <laughs> then we find all the things we made a mistake on and start over. So anyway, talk to you later guys. What you doing? Trying to figure out how to get in? You figured it out. <laughs> Just fall in. Now she's comfy. I'm king of this boat. Good afternoon guys. This is a uh, Sunday. We got all of our chores done. Getting a uh, boat all ready to, uh, for next weekend with the kids. And uh, so we didn't really do much as far as going out on the boat. But this was the prep day to get it ready to start playing. So the next, the next trick now is uh, get some toys on the boat. Water toys. We're meeting some nice neighbors. And... Uh, we have a drive, so we're driving home kind of early today because it's still a four to five hour trip. So, uh, and we'll come right back up here next weekend for the three day weekend, Labor Day. Uh, we're not staying on the boat, we're actually staying in a nice motel over in uh, Page. And uh, there's a nice boat going by right there. Anyway, um, so anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Just kind of give you an idea of all the stuff that has to take place when you get a boat. This was set up weekend, got things the way we wanted, checked all systems, we're pretty happy. So anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like our videos, and please share us with the world. Anyway, from me and Sherry, see you later. See ya. Bye. Stay tuned next episode when Rob and Sherry meet with their kids and their grandkids to enjoy on land and off land activities in Page, Arizona and Lake Powell. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.